Black Panther is the latest smash hit from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and this story revolves around Prince T'Challa turning into the king of Wakanda and the villain Killmonger coming back, trying to take over Wakanda and being the man. But in this video, we're actually gonna be talking about the civilization of Wakanda and the parallels drawn between the city as well as the Alcoholics Anonymous, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And yes, today I'm going to be drawing some parallels between Wakanda in Black Panther and 12-step programs like Alcoholics Anonymous. So before we get started, I got two, yes, count them, two disclaimers to give you real quick. The first one is there will be very, very minor spoilers of the film in this movie. So if you plan on getting, uh, if you plan on seeing it and don't want anything spoiled, you might wanna turn it off, come back, check in later. But like I said, minor spoilers. The second thing I want to make very clear as part of this disclaimer is that I am not a representative representative of Alcoholics Anonymous or any other 12-step program. This video is merely for educational purposes and to kind of uh, make you think a little and just want to start a conversation about this. All right, so let's get started. So in Black Panther, like I said, it's about T'Challa turning into the king of Wakanda. And the villain in this movie is Killmonger. And he's an excellent character. He's very deep, um, like a lot of different layers to him. And Wakanda is this civilization that's been around for thousands and thousands of years, and they are extremely advanced. Okay, because of the vibranium that they have, they mine it and it's helped their technology. So like, they are like maybe hundreds or even thousands of years ahead of pretty much anyone else on the planet Earth. But they use this invisible cloak, so nobody really knows what Wakanda is. A lot of people think that Wakanda is actually like this third world country with nothing really, but like they're really like in this kind of utopian like dreamland, right? And something about Wakanda is, is that they don't get involved with any kind of outside side issues, okay? So Wakanda is made up of multiple tribes and they kind of resolve anything within their own government and they leave the rest of the world alone. So meanwhile, there's wars and poverty and all these things going on and Wakanda doesn't even accept refugees, right? So Killmonger, one of the layers to him is, is that he is of Wakandan blood. His dad was uh, from Wakanda and he kind of wants to come back, take over Wakanda, but since he grew up in Oakland, he sees that there's a lot of issues in the world, especially when it comes to the oppression of black people. So he believes that Wakanda should be doing more and helping the rest of the world. And this is kind of where T'Challa, uh, AKA Black Panther, where he kind of, you know, he has this kind of internal conflict because the traditions of Wakanda and never being part of any of these outside issues. So part of my job working at a drug and alcohol rehab center is I try to sell people on 12 step programs. Like I'm very open-minded. I think a lot of different programs work for different people, but I am of the belief from my personal experience that 90% or more of people who don't even give 12 step programs a try are because they don't fully understand them. So what this video is and you know uh, the lessons I teach, I really just try to educate people about what this is. Like don't say this isn't gonna work just because you don't really understand how it works. But anyways, in this video, I kind of wanted to draw the parallels between 12-step programs and Wakanda, and I want to talk about two traditions specifically, all right? If you haven't yet, like I will put a link in the info card above as well as in the end screen for a video I did about Russell Brand's book, Recovery, asking did he break the traditions, mm -hmm. all right? So the first tradition that I want to talk about is Tradition 10, all right, which states, Alcoholics Anonymous has no opinion on outside issues, hence the AA name ought never be drawn into public controversy. So, never being drawn in public controversy, and something that I've taken issue with, and I've done another video, which I'll link in the info card, about the truth about AA success rates. So, one of the things uh, is that they don't get drawn into public controversy, but there are many people out there who try to tarnish the AA name. So uh, you have professionals who say that 12-step programs don't work and they are a detriment to people's mental health and all these other things, but 99% of the people writing these articles and tarnishing the name of AA, there's even a book out there written about it, these people have never, ever 
ever worked a 12 step program. So it's a little ridiculous to, you know, bash a program that you've never actually worked. So you don't even fully have the knowledge of it, but you have never seen a public debate about this, right? And it's because one of the traditions is that we never get drawn into public controversy. So my argument to that is how many people are missing the benefits or potential benefits of this program because of what they've heard, these horror stories about 12-step programs, and maybe the information that they were getting wasn't exactly credible. So is AA or any other 12-step program really spreading the message properly if they don't you know, present a counter to some of these potential falsehoods that are being brought up about the program. And in Black Panther, you know, they talk about these other wars that are going on in the world and um, Wakanda is extremely technologically advanced. Not only do they have like flying like ships and stuff like that, but they're very advanced in weaponry too. So, you know, Wakanda, like they, they have a lot of power and that's something that Killmonger is trying to get a hold of. But like, are they really doing a service to the world if they're letting, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, um, people like, you know, Red Skull, like try to do the whole Nazi agenda, you know? Should they, you know, get out of their bubble and be drawn into that kind of public controversy? You see what I'm saying? All right, the next tradition that I wanna bring up is this one. Tradition 11, our public relations policy is based on attraction rather than promotion. We need always maintain personal anonymity at the level of press, radio, and films. So last night I actually went to an awesome recovery event here in Las Vegas, and typically at recovery events you will see 12-step programs represented, okay? But one of the primary purposes of 12-step programs is to help the next person who's suffering. And in this instance, I, I truly believe that a lot a lot is taken um, out of context of what the original founders of 12-step programs are really trying to accomplish. And I don't think that when they wrote the book of Alcoholics Anonymous in the 1930s, I don't think they fully understood what the addiction epidemic would look like in 2018. They didn't realize that every year, tens of thousands of people would be dying from the disease of addiction, right? So when we're talking about this, and Wakanda, well, they talk about how Wakanda doesn't take in refugees, right? And it's because people don't understand that Wakanda exists and they have, like not only do they have all this technology, but like they're healing, they're, the way that they can heal people is insane. It's crazy and I won't spoil that for you, but like they have a lot that can really help the world. So when it comes to 12 step programs, I often wonder like how many people are never being introduced to 12 step programs because A, they don't know they exist or B, they don't understand how they can help them, you know? So I don't necessarily think that, you know, AA or NA should go put up billboards and start doing commercials or anything along those lines, but should they be represented a little bit more in, uh, in public so people know that they're there? And I'm speaking from personal experience. In my active drug and alcohol addiction, I didn't know anything anything about 12-step programs aside from like one or two things that I just heard in passing. I didn't understand that they could literally help save my life. So when we're talking about the traditions and things like that and the primary purpose of these 12-step programs, which is to help as many people as possible who are struggling with addiction, um, the question I just wanna bring up with you is like, do you think that they are being of maximum benefit to the rest of the world and people struggling with addiction if they aren't really spreading the word out there. You know what I mean? So just something to kind of think about. I just wanted to kind of make this video. It's just an interesting topic. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning, like don't try to excommunicate me. I am not a representative of any 12 step program, but I try to present people with a whole menu, a whole menu of options for recovery and just give them the truth about every single one. You know what I mean? So I educate people in my drug and alcohol rehab about 12 step programs, about smart recovery, about refuge recovery. I'm very open-minded about this stuff. I just want people to have the proper information out there. But 
Anyways, anyways, I would love to know your thoughts on this. I hope you don't hate me, but <laughs> leave your comments down below. And you know what? I would love to know if you saw Black Panther. I'm actually gonna go see it again this weekend. So leave comments down below if you've seen the movie and let me know what you thought, all right? But anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, I make a ton of videos about addiction recovery, as well as a bunch of videos to help you out with your mental health. Click the round subscribe button and you can click or tap right over there. Check out my video that I did about Russell Brand and the traditions. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.